In this uh, module, we will consider power law liquids. These are also sometimes referred to as pseudoplastic liquids. In case of foods, some common examples are condensed milk, fruit purees, mayonnaise, mustard, and vegetable soups. These uh, liquids show a shear thinning behavior. So what do we mean by this? That their viscosity decreases when the shear rates are increased. For example, in case of toothpaste, which is also a pseudoplastic liquid, the harder you squeeze the toothpaste out of the tube, the easier it flows because its viscosity decreases. Similarly, with more intense mixing process, the viscosity of pseudoplastic liquids decreases. So this uh, shear thinning behavior is observed when the liquid is shaken in a jar and they become more fluid. Now liquids may look homogeneous, but internally their molecules may be arranged in quite different ways. For example, there may be matchstick-like molecules that are randomly oriented or chain type molecules that may be entangled with each other or there may be agglomerates. So when these liquids are made to flow, the match-like molecules turn lengthwise towards the direction of flow, thus easing the flow process. Or the chain type molecules would disentangle and then stretch and get oriented parallel to the direction of the flow. And in case of agglomerates, they disintegrate into individual molecules. Thus their viscosity decreases. This has an implication in food processing that we can get more liquid to flow with reduced energy requirements. And for this, of course, we need to know their pseudoplastic behavior. So let's uh, look at this plot of uh, shear stress on the ordinate and shear rate on the x-axis. So in case of a power law liquid, we see this type of a profile. Note that this is different from the linear profile that we see for a Newtonian liquid that we saw in another module. So the mathematical expression that describes this profile for the power law liquid is sigma equals k times gamma dot raised to power n. Note that sigma is the shear stress and gamma dot is the shear rate. k is called the consistency coefficient and n is the flow behavior index. The units of k are Pascal second raised to power n where n is the flow behavior index and n is dimensionless. Now if we take a natural log of both sides of this power law equation, we get natural log of sigma equals natural log of k plus n times natural log of gamma dot. Now this should be obvious to you that we have an equation of a straight line. In other words, if we plot natural log of sigma with natural log of gamma dot, we will get a straight line where the y-ordinate intercept will give us k, the value for the consistency coefficient, and the slope of that straight line will give us n, or the flow behavior index. Now, in case of pseudoplastic fluids that show the shear thinning behavior, the value for n, the flow behavior index, is always less than 1. Note that k, the consistency coefficient, is similar to viscosity that we obtain for a Newtonian liquid. Of course, the units of k are different from viscosity. Uh, the units for viscosity, recall, were Pascal second, and for k, the units are Pascal second raised to power n. So here we have some uh, k and n values for different food products. You will note that uh, in case of apricot puree, as the uh, solids increase, the consistency coefficient, uh, k, 
also increases uh, from 5.4 to 11.2 pascal seconds raised to power n. Uh, similarly, we have uh, values for uh, for uh, mayonnaise and uh, mustard. We will, in a separate module, look at how we will make measurements to determine K and N values.